the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Can a ministry come to you and say, we are struggling financially? Man of God, we are struggling. Forget that the smiling is just by faith. But as it is now, our rent is expired. Shame is imminent. And you can say, my brother, know that there is a shoulder that is praying with you. Can I tell you this? There are many people wounded in the body of Christ today. The reason why many people do not open up over their pain is because there are no true intercessors. Prayer partners have stabbed one another in the back. They share prayer requests. It's like my grandmother is a witch and I'm hearing and they are writing. And the next time they are seeing it on the internet, they are seeing it everywhere. Pastors are preaching the pain of people and all of these things. And they, and they do it in a way that the people know this is them. And God says, no, with all that grace for the safety of the person. Can I give you a secret? You must pray that God will make you a trustworthy person. That's why those who have the mysteries of the kingdom are called custodians. A custodian is a caretaker. It is not yours, but you have earned the trust of God. Stewards of the mysteries, he says. There are things God has shown me about people, ministries, politicians, several people, every time god reveals to me the secrets of the destinies of men or territories it is a trust and i take it with every sense of responsibility can i tell you i have counseled so many people who have been betrayed and backstabbed by people that they trusted oh three of our children one is a smoker the other one is not doing well can we agree and the next thing that becomes a subject of pain that's why many people box their problems now and cry alone to God. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain break every chain the secrets of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants when I started with God there were times aside from my encounter with Jesus this is a true story I don't talk too much about my experiences because I want people to build their faith on the integrity of scripture because sometimes younger ministers just imitate and copy everything without knowing which one is a doctrine and which one is a personalized dealing. But I remember when I would have encounters like the Shekinah glory of God, literally like a mist will come. You know how a fog is. That is how it will fill my room. And I would lie down and my Bible, God is my witness, will physically open to pages that I did not open with my own hands. Till today that experience still happens to me. I can close my Bible and sleep. There is no fan anywhere. And yet I wake up in the middle of the night. I know that the Holy Spirit wants me to study there. This is how some of these messages come. But can God trust you? The sheer level of pride that has wrapped up men of God, can he trust you with these experiences? Access to the secrets of God 
over territories and over people number three and that does it for tonight what is the blessing of an intercessor authority and power over the assigned territory let me tell you this one of the blessings you receive as an intercessor is aside the authority you have as a believer God is able to trust you with authority and power over the territory that the burden of intercession came to you over I can tell you this there is a mystery called the decree of the watchers not just the decree of men it is a decree of the watchers Daniel chapter 4 from verse 16 and 17 there is the decree of the believer but there is the decree of the watcher there is a throne in heaven that backs you authority you speak over that assigned territory and every force and everything will come into alignment let his heart be changed from a man's remember the judgment of Nebuchadnezzar let a beast's heart be given to him unless seven times over him 17 this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones and they made that decree it was not just God that judged Nebuchadnezzar there were watchmen there were men and women who had authority over that region and they said your evil is enough and they cursed him and heaven backed it to this intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth over the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men you know a true intercessor by the territorial power and authority they command there were many many other people in the days of elijah but watch elijah the intercessor there shall be no rain for a period of three and a half years if it was in our arrogant generation a group of people will come and say don't mind elijah is he the only one let's pray you think someone did not pray and say lord let rain come it was as if he was the only man after three and a half years let me tell you how rain came rain did not just come by him saying rain come he did exactly what closed the heavens the bible says he bent over and prayed and lifted his head did it again and he said i see the sign like the fist of a man's hand he saddle your ass and run i hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain intercessors are men of power in the spirit don't mind their weakness physically intercessors are powerful they can literally shift the spiritual climate of their assigned territories one intercessor who steps into a territory with understanding when i went to preach for archbishop duncan williams i had an opportunity to go to their prayer mountain where they are building as a platform to intercede for the nations and when i got there I had the opportunity to teach and pray with his major personal intercessors my goodness you think you can pray you meet those guys believe me when I tell you ah no 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 when when those guys you will know that those guys were that's their life oh intercessors they are just giving the burden over nations God can say now Congo all they need to do is to drop the prayer request in the middle of them and they will pieces it like you are slicing fish you will just hear that someone is dying someone else is rising there is a control room in the spirit can I tell you this ladies and gentlemen Nigeria is not as bad as it is it's a reflection of the absence of strategic intercessors You want to command salvation over territories let's start with abuja start with your region 
raise men and women by the spirit who understand prayer not blind prayer of dissipating energy that does not produce result that's not intercession strategic prayer with understanding bring forth your strong reason saith the lord over this territory you write the names of your family members one by one and you wake up every night you are praying lord salvation lord healing lord restoration lord deliverance he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint can i tell you this there are certain levels of power and grace i have seen in my life it did not come by asking directly it came as a product of standing in the place of prayer for people there are covenants that i have with god today that came at the instance of certain levels of intercession there are things god will never tell you in the open you will have to become an intercessor pastors pray for your members don't just speak over them can i tell you koinonia hear me you are spiritual people go and ask god the decree to which i pray for you don't think my preaching here is the end of the ministry what you see me do on the pulpit is only 30 percent of my ministry to you my real assignment to you and my my real ministry to you aside from teaching you the word of god is to pray while you are sleeping know that there is somebody awake for your sake praying and crying unto god don't think i'm a politician doing some manifesto here lord touch my people lord change their lives sometimes you send me text messages and i don't reply you don't be angry just because i did not reply you it does not mean i did not pray about it there are times i just drop the phone there because i can't reply everything and i lie down before my maker and i say lord you sent me let these people not have shame and reproach when i sit down here and hear certain testimonies praise the lord this one just happened i just sit quietly as if i don't know anything about it but make no mistakes ladies and gentlemen this man you see by the privilege of god's grace and i do not say it to boast if you have never believed that anybody prays for you believe it today believe it today believe it today believe it today that is why you see as a man of god when you have time for everything it's a sign that something is wrong with your ministry are we together yes everything you have time to go for every occasion you are at wedding in the morning birthday in the afternoon some thanksgiving in the what prayer is not something that you do in a rush there are times that it takes two hours to just say thank you thank you two hours thank you jesus and you are there lying down and an atmosphere of worship like this your eyes sleepy but you remember that you love the people you are sent to can i tell you this a good shepherd lays down his life god will not trust you with members just because you want it he must show in your heart i speak respectfully to servants of god listening forget about all this wanting people to just give you seed you announce your birthday one year in 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 in, in um, what do they call it now one year in advance said do thou and do what god called you to do the members are not stupid when god blesses them through you they know what to do to you can i tell you this demanding money from members is wrong like to say come and give me money that's not your assignment they didn't call you you bless them and pray for them and let god direct them and they will surprise you members are not greedy just do your work go and ask him i don't just love koinonia i love you you are koinonia <laughs> only god will tell you the amount of prayer sacrifice and preparation i just returned from lagos you know some of us at one o'clock i was standing on a pulpit and preaching 
you see that these are the sacrifices of an intercessor i leave this place probably 1 a.m or 2 a.m by tomorrow morning because after service that's only part one of all of this listen when you see what god is doing with people don't just claim anointings do you have the compassion to go that far this is what the younger generation needs to learn just claim anointings up and down no commanding salvation over territories for as long as we're in this city God has sent us in partnership with other vessels across this city to lift our hands and say Satan is no longer business as usual we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words God has sent us to these cities to tear down ancient gates gates that have kept men of God down gates that have kept families down this is the FCT so we stand upon this control room and we speak rise upon your feet our time is gone but lend me two or three minutes we are going to pray and intercede number one we will intercede for the church in Abuja and the church in Nigeria doesn't matter the denomination that the purposes of God will be established and the counsel of darkness will be far from our habitation prayer point number two we are going to pray for every family represented here I like you to pray that because you are here every onslaught of darkness against every family to bring shame and reproach we come by the decree of the watchers that it must be overturned and number three you are going to pray for Nigeria our nation we are going to cry to the God of heaven and say Lord you are always ahead of time go ahead of us bring salvation to this nation is someone ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray pray is this how you are praying online we pray for the church in abuja every church that names the name of christ we intercede in the name of jesus new levels grace for salvation signs and wonders fire upon every altar in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus pray the works of darkness to destroy the purposes of god the works of darkness to destroy any man of God the works of darkness to destroy any work to discourage the faith of believers we curse it in the name of Jesus pray for every assembly Lord let there be salvation soul winning at another level soul winning at another dimension Lord bring increase to every church bring fire to every church bring revival to every church signs and wonders the church in Abuja we declare you are light a city on a hill that cannot be hidden we decree and we prophesy all of the six local governments in Abuja the church is there represented exploits by the Spirit in the name of Jesus now pray for every family begin with your family members pray for your children pray for your spouse pray for your siblings cry to the
the God of heaven. Arise, O God, like the mighty God that you are. Wipe the tears of God's people. Wipe the tears of families. Let shame and reproach, let Ichabod no longer be their testimony. Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Finally, pray for Nigeria. Go ahead and pray. Pray for the presidency. Pray for our members of Senate. Pray for the House members. Pray for the captains of industry. Pray for the teachers, the lecturers. Pray for our colleges, our universities. Pray for our hospitals. Pray for the military, the police, the paramilitary. Lord, there must be peace in this nation. If someone pray, we decree we give him no rest till you establish Jerusalem as a place. Demons of bloodshed, we curse you. Demons of ritual killing, we curse you. Spirits of terrorism, there is no place for you in our border. We pray for Christians. We pray for Muslims. We pray for everyone who is upon our soil. Lord, we pray there must be peace. We pray there must be advancement in the name of Jesus. Everyone who names the name of Christ, let there be peace. From the presidency, wisdom, our parliamentarians, wisdom, businessmen, wisdom, captains of industry. When men say there is a casting down, for you it will be that there is a lifting up. We drive the coronavirus out of our territory. We lend our voices with the medical personnel. We prophesy peace. No pandemic will cross our borders and come to destroy us. We make this decree, the decree of the watchers, established in heaven. The spirits of untimely death, we curse you by the God of heaven. Our roads are safe. The airwaves are safe. two more minutes you are interceding if you do not know what to pray for as you ought to pray in the spirit we lend our voices to pray we declare an end to the works of darkness we declare an end We dethrone every other name. We dethrone every other counsel. In the name of Jesus, we frustrate the tokens of liars. We turn diviners mad. They will not perform their enterprise. In the name of Jesus. Every family rising by the Spirit. Every family excelling by the Spirit. Every family coming into the experiential knowledge of Jesus Christ.
pray for you in the name of Jesus let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of Jesus I decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent I stand by the grace of God and we bring an end to it now hear me please I want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence there is a series on that and I will teach you but you can start with your family he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not when you leave this place you can use this night use tomorrow and pray lock yourself collect the prayer request from your family members send them a text and say please forward me your prayer request put them before the God of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray God reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore I agree with you that everything you came here trusting God for I release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of Jesus Christ please you are here and you are saying apostle now I realize it is a risk being without Jesus please no movement it is we we must mature and grow do not walk around when an altar call is being five or two more minutes does not stop you from going where you are going please as much as possible when an altar call is being made it's a time to respect it nobody would force you but it's a discipline we must grow spiritually an altar call does not take more than two minutes and we're done many of you will go out and yet it's not home you are going to there is a spirit that tries to drive you two minutes added to your time does not take you run away from that culture except it is necessary please don't do that when an altar call comes we must be matured are we together there are people here who are saying apostle I need Jesus this night and I need him sincerely others are saying apostle I love Jesus with all my heart but for some reason my life has gone haywire I need restoration I'm going to call on these two groups of people and I want you to please run it's my joy and my honor 
there is a champion in the making some of you you are coming in and this your salvation will culminate to the blessing of your family i will count one to five run and come and stand here young and old one celebrate them as they come shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead me i will go and i have made a choice to listen for your voice wherever you may lead i will go keep coming one more time he's the shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead me i will follow i have made a choice to listen to your voice wherever you may be come to jesus for some of you he's giving you a new beginning for some he's restoring you he is able to do both and to save even to the uttermost and you following online you're following by way of television or the internet jesus is coming to you it is time to surrender everything to him even if you are watching the rebroadcast this is an opportunity to make it right with jesus i salute every one of you and all the overflows i want you to please lift your right hand before jesus the son of the living god you're not lifting it before apostle you're lifting it before jesus say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart in this confession today can be the salvation of so many people connected to you you are not just saved for yourself you are saved for many others say lord jesus one more time say it loud and clear say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i declare that you are my savior you are my lord and you are my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i receive eternal life into my spirit from tonight and forever i am a child of god i am saved i go forward ever and backward never amen congratulations please keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for these precious people they have made declarations of faith before you in the presence of your people and this global family i pray in the name of jesus by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and indeed i pray that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life you are recipients of the life of god you receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from today you reign i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be built may you be established in righteousness go from glory to glory and grace to grace in jesus name i pray amen congratulations to you may i please request that you follow the counselors there are counselors waving the placard please i like you to gently all of you in concert let's celebrate them as they go please just go to the counselors they'll have a minute or two with you and you'll be back to your seat they won't take long please let's hurry with them counselors let's celebrate them koinonia hallelujah now please listen to a very important announcement very important announcement um it's necessary that i make this announcement before before um we leave this we've had a few a few um, concerns and i need to address it in one minute this is particularly for our international guests please pay attention media if you can work with me now 
we have an important information especially for our international guests the rate of people trying to scam these people who come because they know that so many people every week are coming here from across the nations we've had a number of people um it's it's a condition that is not a very good thing please sit for one minute thank you for your patience now there are a few information that i want you to get number one please i want you to know that we are here we meet once a week there's not been any reason if there is a conference or anything we'll announce it we're here sundays 5 p.m right at this auditorium and please if you want to come make sure that you are directed properly to come number two I hope it's 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 clear it, can i have number two please we do not provide visa information we can help you at a personal level but please do not allow anybody give you any invitation saying it is from koinonia you are dealing with scammers praise god we have an official pr department please make sure the the phone lines are available so that we project it at the end of this so please if for any reason there is a reason to give you an invitation letter an official invite there is a way to do that but you are welcome to come and worship with us at any time but please do not allow anybody stand in as me or anyone in the ministry trying to give you any official invite especially asking you for a fee number three um hotel reservations in as much as we do not do any private hotel reservations we have a pr department that has a relationship with most of the hotels within this city and the pr department can guide you working in partnership with the protocol and security department this is particularly for the international guests but it extends to people who are not domiciled in this city who are coming please i want you to be careful so that you do not fall victim of scammers and all kinds of people are we together do not allow anybody who says bring money the pr can recommend departments i mean um, hotels according to you know your financial level and this is this is a city center so um it shouldn't be difficult but we can help you but please do not allow anybody try to manipulate you and take money out of you number four I think we have five um this is long you may not be able to see that i, I apologize but um let me just pull it up here so that i can see now we do not do not allow it's unfortunate but information has gotten to my table that there are people who collect money from people and purport to give them an appointment with me see let me tell you even if I'm not serious about ministry, I fear God. Praise the name of the Lord. Anybody who tells you he has a private relationship with me and says you should secretly give them money, please report them to our security department. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm saying this so that you also become an evangelist. By the grace of God, we are people of integrity. Are we together now? It is unfortunate that guests come and because sadly some of these things are practiced across several places there is there is nobody i have never and i will never ask anybody to bring money for an appointment with me to see me i don't do that praise the name of the lord i am called to serve i'm not called to manipulate are we together i think we must make that very clear please those who are following online from any nation do not give anybody one naira, one dollar, one pound, one anything. Don't give anybody anything in the name of trying to negotiate an appointment with Apostle. If you have been doing it, please stop. You can report to the security department and they'll be able to help you. And then, um, finally, of course, you know this, that I am not on social media. We continue to fight this to preserve the sanctity of the ministry. I am not on social media. All those I have allowed people to have my teachings and to spread them, it is my gift to the body of Christ. However, please do not start charging people to bring money and say you are apostle. Do you know there are people who have been scammed millions of naira? And that is Joshua Selman. There was a gentleman um, some time ago who even did an international passport with my face on it. And was negotiating a meeting with a ministry in america and said they have to send him advance 
And the people were so happy. They said, we can't believe that apostle is coming. It was the protocol department and the security department, the intelligence there that intercepted. By the grace of God, we are not ignorant people. We are in connection with the national intelligence, the DSS. And even though we love Jesus, we will not fail to deal decisively. I'm saying it now in the open. We will not fail to deal decisively with people like this. It is, it is an evil of the highest order. When I saw the international passport myself, and I saw my, my face on it, I don't know who... I mean visa, I meant to say, not international passport. They were almost going to send the advance. Me? Advance? Now, please project, if you can, our official platforms. I plead with you to have these things. Everybody in this ministry should have our official lines. We are on the social media platforms. These are our platforms also connecting with Zaria, of course. Zaria, by the way, Zaria, we love you. Zaria are streaming this now, and we pray that the Lord will bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. And then to let you know also, the numbers, I'm interested in the numbers, not this. If you have the numbers, please, just a minute so that our people can get this. You can have it in your your um the visitors card also the numbers are there you can reach our public relations department they are the department authorized to correspond on behalf of myself and the ministry please the numbers you can do well to have this is the official there are many but you can have this number for now and please put it down you can help those who need to make inquiries let's minimize some of these things we pray that God will help those doing this thing and bring them to salvation. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for your patience. Please stand. The Lord honor you and the Lord increase you. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. God bless you and see you Sunday next week. Dearly beloved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashkana Catabranda Catacos, Catabranda Catapacotosco to break a take a look at her. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.